What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. Today's video is a long awaited ASOS wedding dress trying on video. I've been seeing your comments lately. You guys are missing the ASOS wedding dress videos and I thought today I would bring it back. I'm sure some of you guys may be wondering when are you actually going to get married? Because I feel like I've been going on about it for so long, like probably two years now. Obviously because of the pandemic, I did have to postpone my wedding till next year, which is very sad, but at the same time you got to do what you got to do. So I thought I would let you guys know that little update. We are still getting married, just not anytime soon, if that makes sense. Before we jump straight into the wedding dresses, I do actually have a sponsor for today's video, which I am so freaking excited to tell you guys about. This video is very kindly sponsored by one of my favorite skincare brands right now called Typology. They're a French skincare brand. They specialize in super clean, super natural, and vegan products, which is right up my street. Their products are really amazing because they actually have very limited amount of ingredients on the back, so they're super easy to understand. And as if that wasn't amazing enough, their products are actually eco-friendly, so the packaging can be recycled, which I think is amazing for the world. I feel like you guys are actually going to thank me on this one because I actually feel like I have really discovered an amazing, affordable skincare brand that actually works. I've literally already been recommending Typology to like my close friends and family because I honestly love their products that much. I've been using most of their oil kind of based products for like a few months now, ever since I received them in PR, and this was way before I even agreed to work with them on this video. I don't know if you guys remember, but like April time, I had a really bad allergic reaction to some kind of product underneath my eyes and my skin was just in such need of moisture. It was so dry and flaky. And that's when I really discovered Typology because a lot of their products are like oil based. So they're super hydrating and I knew they wouldn't irritate my skin when I tried them. By the way, if you guys are interested, they do have a diagnostic quiz kind of thing on their website. So if you have any skin concerns and you're not too sure what kind of products you should be using, that is really, really helpful. So my everyday kind of skin skincare routine really is mostly consisting of the Typology products. The first product I usually like to use at the beginning is the Orange Blossom Hydrolate, which smells literally incredible. The Orange Blossom flower is actually known for its regenerating and radiance boosting skin benefits. And I gently just pat this into my skin on a clean cotton pad as like the first step to my morning routine. I then go in with the Radiance Serum, which has 11% vitamin C and I apply like three to four drops to my skin and I just gently massage that into my face and neck using circular motions. I find this also is a key product that helped me reduce my pigmentation spots on my jawline. So honestly, really recommend this. The next step is the plumping serum. This has 3% hyaluronic acid and 2% B5. For those of you who are new to skincare, hyaluronic acid is a must have ingredient in skincare. The one in this product is plant derived from fermented wheat and has really powerful hydrating properties, which my skin definitely needs. I then move on to the tinted serum with vitamin C. It's also got squalane and aloe vera. I hope I said that right. So this product is a silicon-free, non-clogging tinted serum that has a light coverage, giving your skin a supernatural looking finish while evening out the skin tone and working its magic in the background. This comes in six versatile shades. The last product I've literally been using daily is the Typology 9 Ingredient Lip Balm. It's fragrance-free and it's super nourishing. I get super chapped lips and applying this first thing in the morning and just before bed has helped me out so much. So that's my little everyday routine that I've basically been using every single day to get my skin to where it is right now and I'm really happy with it. I do also want to mention another product that I've been literally swearing by and you guys honestly need to try it. If you've got problematic skin, you need to try this. This is actually the first product I ever tried from Typology and I'm so glad I did. This is called the Salicylic Acid Plus Zinc and this is for targeted blemishes. I've been applying this on my problematic spots pretty much every single night and I've noticed such a huge difference. All this sort of like hyperpigmentation and blemishes that I've always got around my jaw have really started to fade with this and if I've got like a new spot or anything. This literally dries it out overnight, but without actually drying my skin. I honestly don't know how it works, but it is literally magic in a bottle. So yeah, that's a little bit about Typology. Honestly, I've been swearing by this skincare brand lately. So if you guys want to try any of the products out, I'll have them all linked in the description. I actually swear by this routine so much that I'm actually going to use it for my wedding day morning routine, which is so exciting. Speaking of weddings though, I think it's now time to try on the ASOS wedding dresses. I'm so excited. So let's get into it. Okay. So so this is the very first dress. By the way, if you guys are new to these videos, the dresses come in like the most luxurious, massive boxes. They always do. And I think it's really nice. By the way, this whole order cost me like 930 pounds, which... <laughs> 
<laughs> it's a lot. But I feel like in the grand scheme of things, I could have spent that much on just one wedding dress because let's be real, wedding dresses are expensive. So the fact that I got four here, I'm actually pretty pleased. Okay, so here is the box. It says ASOS Bride on it. I honestly love the packaging of this so much. This is what they all look like on the inside. They're like wrapped in really nice tissue paper. I just love the presentation. And then here is the actual wedding dress. Oh my goodness. Look at this. It is so poofy. I literally can't even get it out of its packaging. Are we seeing this? Look how freaking poofy it is. There is so much volume to this dress. Look at it. It doesn't even fit on camera. That's how big it is. So this first dress is the second most expensive dress from this video. And this is called the ASOS Edition Mila Off Shoulder Embroidered Mesh Dress. This looked absolutely stunning on the model. And I just loved how princess-like it looked. I'm not gonna lie. I'm more into fishtail kind of dresses for like my personal wedding dress. But I love trying out all the different styles. Okay, so this is what the top of the dress looks like. It's got this really nice color kind of like heart cut out on the front. It's got bardo sleeves, which are kind of like see-through mesh with a bit of lacing. But the actual dress itself is strapless. These are just to hold up the dress on the hanger, of course. It's actually got a really nice bit of rubber around the chest so that it doesn't slide down or anything. I really like how short the actual bodice is. I think that will be quite flattering on. I would say this dress is quite modest, even though it's got like this sweetheart kind of cut out. It's not too plungy. But I guess it's now time to try this dress on and see how it fits. Let's do it. Okay, guys, so here is the very first dress. And honestly, I have to say, I genuinely feel like a princess. It is just so poofy, so long. Literally, if you were to get this dress for your wedding, you wouldn't even have to worry about what shoes you're wearing underneath. You could wear trainers if you liked. It is so multi-layered. I love how much volume there is. It feels quite weighted, but not in like an uncomfortable way. The sleeves are absolutely stunning. I didn't even realize, but they're kind of like lace but like really tight to the skin. And then the second layer is this poofy mesh. So I feel like it just looks so beautiful and intricate and really interesting. And I just love this. The one downside that I have just noticed is that my bra underneath is literally showing. And that is because the dress doesn't really sit where I want it to. It does kind of fall down just a little bit, but it could be down to the fact that my boobs aren't big enough to kind of like hold it up. So it's sliding down just a little bit. Also, this dress doesn't have like a tightness setting in the bag. It's literally just one size. It's only got one zipper. So even if you wanted to, you couldn't make this any tighter. You would just have to make sure you get the right size to begin with. But I feel like no matter where you get your wedding dress from, it's always good to tailor it to your body shape and your body size just to make sure that it literally fits like a glove. But yeah, this is the first wedding dress. I honestly feel like a princess. I do actually want to show you guys the underneath layer of it. Look how freaking beautiful this lace is. Like you just see a very subtle version of this because this kind of like diffuses it a little bit. But yeah, this dress is definitely very, very beautiful. So I'm honestly going to give this like an eight out of 10. It would have been a nine, but it does kind of fall down just a little bit. Okay, moving on. We've got another dress in another box. Let's crack this one open. You know what? I feel like if you're getting married this year and you really want to try on a bunch of different wedding dresses without actually having to step into an actual wedding dress shop, shopping on ASOS to see what style and design you like, I think is really, really easy because they literally deliver to your house. If there's any of the dresses you don't like, you just send them back. So I think it's really nice and hassle-free shopping on their full wedding dresses and who knows you might even end up literally finding your wedding dress oh my god it's fallen off its hanger but wow look at this this is so freaking pretty. This one kind of has like nude stitching at the top, which I am so here for. I really like that. I think that's very different. This is what it looks like from the back as well. It is so pretty. And then the bottom is super floaty. The only way I can describe this kind of shape of dress is it reminds me of Aurora Sleeping Beauty. Her dress is kind of like a flute. It kind of just comes out a little bit. So I love this style. Again, I feel like this is a super nice, super dainty and quite simple of a dress, but it definitely has a lot of sass with the bottom. So this dress is actually the most expensive dress of all of them. This one was £325, which again, in the grand scheme of things, isn't actually that much for a wedding dress. So I guess let's try this one on and see if it's worth £325. Okay, this one... 
I'm sorry, it's absolutely stunning. Look at the detail. Look at how snatched I am. I love the detail. Honestly, it looks even better on than when I held it up. It feels really nicely fitted. The bodice feels structured. I feel supported. Like I literally could wear this with no bra underneath and I feel like I would still have so much support. The actual bra has padding inside it. So you honestly do not have to worry. Again, it has got the grippy like thingies, but I feel like because of how like tight and snatched the bodice is it doesn't even need the little grip things the bottom of the dress is stunning again it's very textured very layered it has a lot of volume to it and then the train as you guys can see is also quite long which we love we love a good long dramatic train I feel like you know if you're gonna be extra for once in your life your wedding day is that day honey honestly I love the fit and style of this dress so much that I would genuinely have like a photo shoot in this now personally as much as I love this dress I think the reason why I personally wouldn't go for it is because I'm getting married in a hot country and I feel like I just can't have this much volume on me I would just get so hot that's also one of the main reasons why I'm opting for a more like thin mermaid kind of dress with a lot less fabric than this I literally love this dress so much that I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10 I think it deserves it moving on to the next wedding dress this is the next one and I'm really excited for this one I've just remembered which one this is as you guys can tell we've got a little bit of a theme going Going on here we've gone for like all the strapless and bardo kind of dresses I don't really know why but I really like them this one is made of the most gorgeous kind of like silky fabric and it feels so luxurious this is called the ASOS edition jasmine ruched bust wedding dress with drape we've got a drape going on here this one was 120 pounds which Again, for a wedding dress, that is an absolute steal. I feel like that's as cheap as they get. As you guys can see, it's got this really nice kind of like ruched front. And then it's got this drapey kind of like bardo sleeve, if that makes sense. It looked really, really beautiful on the model. And again, it's got that like silicon sort of strap so that it doesn't slide down or anything. I have to say in comparison to the first two dresses, this one is a lot more relaxed. Can you guys see how like wide the actual like waist of the dress is? It's super relaxed. And the dress literally goes on for days. Like look how much fabric there is. There's so much of it. I can literally just imagine how amazing it would be to like dance and twirl in this dress. It would literally flow so nicely. So yeah, this style of dress is definitely not something that I personally would go for just by the look of it, but I'm willing to give it a chance. So let's try it on and see how it fits. Okay, so here's the next dress. I have to say, I don't know how I feel about this one. And now that I've got it on, I kind of find these sleeves a little bit annoying and if I was to wear them throughout the day I feel like I would just feel like they're kind of in the way. The sleeves are kind of an awkward length I would say because like it's fine like this but my elbows literally can like go through it. Again with this dress I have that same issue of it kind of falling down because it is strapless and this rubber isn't even like adhering to my skin. So honestly this dress does not have much support. If you were to wear this you would have to kind of find a way to make it not fall down. As for the fabric and everything else, I do really like it. I mean, like I said, it is very wide, so it doesn't really do much for your figure. I actually feel like this type of dress would be perfect if you were pregnant whilst getting married because it has so much room, like everywhere. Like imagine having a little baby bump. But yeah, this is how wide the dress is and how much fabric there is to it. It is a lot, it is a lot of fabric. Also the train is very long as you guys can see. It is literally stunning. Like this fabric is so nice and soft to the touch. Genuinely the length and the fabric of this dress makes me feel like a princess all on its own. So yeah, the dress isn't ready for me. It is a really pretty dress and I love the fabric and the shape of it. However, I'm gonna have to give it like a five out of 10. Only because again, it's kind of falling down and the sleeves are a little bit awkward. And now the very last dress we have to try on is right here and again I'm very excited to try this one on oh my god okay this one is slightly different than the rest I don't remember buying this dress hang on a minute hang on a minute okay yeah I definitely bought this dress but in the photos it looks a lot lighter like the beads on it I don't know if you guys can tell but the beads are kind of like a silver gray sort of color but they make the dress look a lot darker in color if that makes sense I don't know if that's just me but in the photo it just looked like a white dress whereas here it kind of just looks 
kind of off-white. Anyway, this dress is again from ASOS edition. It's called the Samantha Beaded Wedding Dress. And this one is 195 pounds. Again, very inexpensive, but this one, has a lot of sass to it. Okay, so this one might not be for everyone. And to be honest, for me, I feel like it might be a bit much, but it's the whole dress and it's literally covered in little beads. Like the whole dress is beaded. Basically the sleeves are super like bat wing. They really do come out. And yeah, the whole dress is very interesting. I feel like it's gonna be really hard to show you guys and do it any justice holding up. So let's just try it on and see how it looks. Okay, and this is the very last dress. I'm not gonna lie, I'm honestly not a fan of this one. In fact, I actually really dislike it. The first thing I really don't like about it is how like low plunge it is. Now I know that's just down to preference. Personally, I like to have my dresses a little less plungy than this. The sleeves are a little bit extra, but like I just said, I mean, it's your wedding day, you kind of want to be extra, but for me, this is a bit much. I feel like it doesn't even look good. It's just extra just for the sake of being extra. I feel like it looks a little bit weird when it's like this. I feel like it's weird when it's up like this. Like imagine dancing on your wedding day in this dress. It would literally be a nightmare. Also the dress is super backless. Let me just show you guys. Look, like under this little cape, it is very backless. Actually, I quite like how it looks from the back. Also, it's got like this really weird slit that's directly in the center of the dress, which I think is a bit strange. Personally, I think I'm actually gonna give this wedding dress like a one. It's just not really my taste. All right, guys, so those were all of the wedding dresses I'm gonna try out for you guys from ASOS today. Let me know in the comments below which one of these was your favorite. I feel like my favorite was definitely either the first or the second one. I just loved them so much. Have I found my dream wedding dress in this video? Probably not, but I am very very excited because I am going back on the hunt for my wedding dress. At the beginning of the year before lockdown, I did actually have a whole like fitting day, which I did film. So that will be coming soon at some point. If you guys do want to see that video of me trying on real wedding dresses outside of this room, then let me know in the comments and also give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure you guys do check out Typology. I'll have all the links in the description if you want to grab some new skincare that's affordable and actually works. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video. I really appreciate it every single one of you. I hope you guys are having an awesome day so far, but hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Mwah.